Hey there, it's Brent Salisbury uh, doing a demo on OpenStack Essex. Uh, this one will be from the ground up, so this is a brand new Ubuntu 12.04 install, and this is every single component uh, from scratch, well, from packages, not from source. Uh, so first, let's make sure if you don't have a fully qualified domain name, go ahead and pop in uh, 127.011 for it. Uh, let's install NTP. So I'm going to be talking and typing here. I'll try and keep it real condensed. So a lot going on. Uh, this will all be written up in a blog post with uh, with uh, all the commands, everything there. It should be pretty straightforward. I've burned through enough images and everything else to get this down pretty well. Uh, let's change our NTP. So if we get cut off, uh, we aren't going to have our whole system bomb and have people be real happy with this. Uh, restart the service. Okay. Let's install some more packages. Scuzzy uh, open my scuzzy. So at the tail end of this, we'll do a kind of demo and a little bit of dialogue from a colleague of mine at the uh, University of Kentucky, Cody Baumgartner. It's been working on this project with me. And we type open. There we go. Alright. Let's install Bridge Utils. Uh, this is Linux Bridging. It has been around a long time. Probably too long. Uh, the next release to Folsom this fall that should be uh, cleaned up quite a bit with uh, Nova Quantum. Let's go ahead and bounce our network. That's back. Bring over my cheat sheet here. I don't want to type that. We're going to install Rabbit. So Rabbit is the scheduler. Uh, arguably, it's one of the most important components because this is uh, there's a lot of a lot of moving parts to this, and this is the glue that kind of interconnects everything and is orchestrating all the components. Uh, so we're going to install Glance, Nova, and Keystone today. hypervisor. Uh, if you're doing this uh, on a, let's say, uh, either an old box around the house or if you're doing it on a virtual box or VM Fusion or whatever, uh, you do need hardware virtualization to support KVM to load the KVM underscore Intel module. So uh, if you are doing that, there's a flag in Nova that I'll point out when we get to it in Nova.conf that you can tell it to use Kimu as opposed to KVM. And it'll work great for you for uh, demoing. All right. Next piece. I need to get my SQL installed. Uh, so we're going to create two databases. One is Nova, and the other one will be Glance. I'm not going to do a Keystone database. Just uh, let's go ahead and get this package down. Copy and paste that. Um, we're naming the, the, use the password for that database is OpenStack. So whether it's a token or anything else in this demo, I'm using OpenStack for everything. So um, be 
sure to turn this off so as not to get uh, rooted tomorrow. Uh, let's add the Glance database. Good to go. Uh, let's edit uh, Etsy MySQL my.com. Uh, we're going to look for 127.001. Change that to 0000. 000. That'll bind it to all interfaces. All right. Now let's install the Keystone package. restart my SQL. Uh, make sure you restart everything as you're going along here because it doesn't take much to go sideways. Okay, we're going to edit uh, Etsy Keystone, keystone.conf. Again, Keystone is the uh, uh, authentication mechanisms and whatnot. Change the token there to OpenStack, and we just need to add this into catalog. That is, is that below there? Let's put that in, and then we will hash out other. So we're just changing the templates that we're going to be referencing. Next, <clears throat> we're going to use a script from uh, DevStack to, I believe it's DevStack, I can't remember, I've seen, uh, to populate this. So uh, I will have that posted on the blog, push that down, and run that. That populates, and it's doing echo one, make sure that runs. If you get a zero back, so you'll see me do that quite a bit. That's just making sure it goes. Uh, Get Glance installed. Oop. Are not tight. Okay, what you see here is X, the, all the export uh, your environmental variables. So these are real important. Anytime you run into something that says you're either not authorized or there's not an endpoint found, uh, that's going to be it. So I'm just going to drop that into Bash or C. I learn how to type. So, again, most of the errors that uh, you're going to run into uh, outside of missing, a, missing one of the API files is going to be this. So, probably it's nice and easy to uh, drop those all into your bash RC. Uh, that's the file that is going to execute when you uh, open a new shell or log in or any of the above. We'll just stick it down here at the bottom. There's certainly more elegant ways to do it, but uh, I'm for the most part a network guy, so <laughs> whatever that means. All right, let's edit our glance innies. Uh, so about three things we're doing here. We're pasting. Uh, we're gonna put our uh, credentials down at the bottom of each of these files or two of the files. Stack and admin. There we go. And you'll also do this in a file in the Nova directory. Nova, that's api.com. All right. Do the same here. And let's put in a pair open stack again. Admin user is admin and tenant name is admin. Save that. And 
plans-registry.conf has a little bit more in it that we're going to do. So we're going to define our SQL connection and our privileges to get into that. So let's hash out SQLite. So username, password is in that. And we're going to take this paste, tell it to use keystone. I'm going to put that at the bottom of this file and the next file. So then to glanceapi.conf. And we'll go to the bottom of that. Post to this with uh, a lot of the common errors you're going to run into as you're learning this beast. Let's go ahead and restart uh, the again. Make sure your exports are there because anytime you have errors. Uh, it's probably one of the first places to look if you don't have that in your bash directory. Uh, restart API and restart registry. And next, we're going to talk and type. Uh, version control, this is kind of a, I think this is a 12.04 Ubuntu specific bug. Uh, I have not done this on Red Hat. So now we're going to sync the database. Any errors you come up with here are typically going to be permissions. So check your exports. Restart. 